Look what just arrived. Another 3D printer. <laughs> no, it's not mine. It's my son's, his second one. He's been doing a lot of printing for his business and he needed a second one. So he got this one for $3.99 at Newegg.com. Pretty good deal. So he shipped it to me because he wants me to get my bed set up, all my tricks, check the bearings, the belts, the whole bit. He wants me to basically tune it up so it matches the way I like to have my Da Vinci set up. But what's amazing is they shipped him for that price a 1.0A, which is the newer one. And people have already pointed out the differences. There's the name on the door. It says 3D printer, and it's got magnets on the door. No more snaps. So that's a definite difference, and I knew about that. But there's a few other things I found. Let me show you. So the kit of parts that's included has all the usual cast of characters. You got your power cord, your USB cable, wire brush, glue stick, the little things to clean the nozzle, and then these things, which always kind of confused me. They call them a decorative piece, and I, you probably have to put them on the side so it's flush and looks nice. But I've always put them the other way, because that way I get a handle on both sides so I can pick it up and move it easier. So how you put it in exactly, the seven page manual doesn't say, so you're on your own with that one. But what I really noticed different was this. They include a cartridge of nature, not white. All the previous ones included a cartridge of white. My son actually only prints in red because we found that red prints the best. Black's pretty good, purple, yellow's not bad, but red is always the best, comes out the smoothest. White is probably the worst. It's hard to get white to be really, really smooth. I've done a few projects with this nature because it's, it's excellent for printing something you want to light from behind. I've got a few projects I'm working on for the channel that I haven't posted yet using this. And I'll probably end up with this as my fee for setting up his printer because he's not going to use it. He just wants red. So this was a change and I was kind of surprised. Maybe they're doing this so the first prints come out better than what the white was giving you. I don't know. So let me show you what else I found inside. So inside everything looks about the same. The glass is actually very, very firm. It doesn't move. But what they didn't fix was the bearing back there that lets this thing wiggle. Look at that movement. Can you imagine that while it's printing? You can't have that. So they haven't fixed that. That bearing needs to be fixed back there. It looks like they did a metal tab here too to go into the limit switch. This used to be a piece of plastic. So that's a little different. Maybe they can adjust it more. But overall, the same knobs, same adjustments, same everything looks looks like the same design, even the same loose bearing. So I checked inside, and the bearing mounts that are in here, which cracked on mine, look like the exact same design. So that hasn't changed. These are okay, though nothing's cracked and my my second one never cracked so maybe they just had a bad batch at some point but they haven't changed that design so that's something else I checked and then this wire right here if you notice how they just tie strapped it and then there's this other little wire here with a stick down clip which is loose I don't know where that thing's supposed to go because if you look at the old one all this wire came through here and there was a grommet so it wouldn't get cut so it looks like they cheapened this a little bit by coming through here but if it works the same I just wonder where that clip's supposed to go I'll just find a place to stick it and why these wires are loose I, I don't see those on the old one so that's something else that's that's different they're routing the wires a little bit different than before and then the biggie let me zoom in here the notorious black connector is gone. They've replaced it with this one. I'm not going to take it apart because it's his. We'll wait and see if it gives him any problem. But it looks like a beefier connector than that old black one, which would typically fail or be intermittent and then leave your extruder 
cold. It couldn't heat up. This was uh, my video on a 0011 error. I showed you how to replace the connector by just soldering the wires together. But it looks like they finally replaced the connector. That's a big fix. That had to be their biggest warranty problem because people would send back the whole extruder. I know I did on my first one. I still don't know if it was a bad connector because I replaced my extruder and my connector never went bad. My second one, the connector went bad. By then I knew what to do. So maybe my first one was a bad extruder, but so far I've, I know of 10 different people who have had extruder failures. On all 10 of them, it was the connector. So obviously that was a problem and they fixed it on the 1.0A. The system version on the 1.0A uses a different numbering system. The latest on the 1.0 is 1.2.3. Well you would think this is much lower but it's actually pretty close to the same level because when they released this, these it was 1.0 and then I guess 1.0.1, 1.0.2 so you can't really compare the two also and I'm not gonna go into it and tear it apart but apparently the circuit boards in the back are a lot different now let me show you the bearing I'm talking about I've got it shimmed up here with an exacto knife to hold this thing in place eventually I'll just break off a piece and epoxy it in place but if I wiggle it it's not a lot of movement if I pull it out look at the movement in this thing so I'm gonna print some with and without the shim now this is one of my son's prints and this is without the shim. This wall in front of us should be straight. You see how everything shifted to the right? Even in the background the plastic is all kind of shifted to the right. That's from the loose bed. Now with the shim in place this is the same part in the same position on the bed. Look at how straight the wall is when we look at it. And if you look at the back it's equal on both sides. I mean this thing points up towards the top so it's designed to go at an angle but it's balanced. Now here's another part that was printed before the shim. It's at a different point of the bed and this thing everything shifted left. But it's the same thing that wall should be straight and that back wall should be balanced and it's not. This is the loose bed. Now this is the same part in the same position but printed with the shim in place so the bearing is not loose. Look at this straight wall balanced in the back. This is the way it should be. XYZ printing has got to fix this. So my son picked up his printer. He seems pretty happy with it. In fact he's already run some prints on it and he says they're coming out really good. The only comment he had is he said it seems like the bed is hotter on the new one, the 1.0A, than it is on his 1.0. Now he had the same problem on his 1.0 that I did in that the glass was loose on the bed. And that gives you that shifting in the print, just like the bearing that's not tight. Turns out that Da Vinci actually glues that glass down to the heated bed rather than clamp it down or anything like that. So the fact that he's getting more heat on the new one and it's glued down good, I think is probably he's getting better transmission of the heat through the glass because there's, there isn't that air gap. The, the glue is actually holding it tight. Now we didn't put an infrared thermometer on it or anything like that. It's merely an observation on his part. But it does make sense. But overall, I think he's pretty happy with his 1.0A. I just think that Da Vinci should fix that bearing. You know, that's they fixed the connector, they fixed the you know the magnets. Cause this one don't want to stay closed. I, I I gotta figure out how to put a magnet on this thing. Oh, and by the way, this was my pay. He gave me the cartridge. He didn't want it. He didn't want the clear stuff or semi-clear. I'll put that to use. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. See you next time.